What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel. Today we're talking more Madden 17 ratings and today we're going to do the top five defensive ends. If you've missed any of the Madden 17 news, it's linked below in the Madden 17 news playlist along with a link to the article with all the ratings for the top five defensive ends. I will also have a new Cleveland Browns franchise video out later today, but let's go ahead and talk about the top five defensive ends. And first up, Olivier Vernon at number five from the New York Giants. He's new to the Giants. He's a 91 overall. He's got 81 speed, 87 acceleration, 97 power move, 80 finesse move, and 95 block shedding. Vernon will play a role, the role of premier pass rusher for the Giants. He has the athleticism to take over games by getting after the quarterback with that 81 speed and 87 acceleration. Olivier Vernon got a big contract in the offseason and he's number five in the top five defensive ends at a 91 overall. Number four, Mike Daniels from the Green Bay Packers. He is number four at a 92 overall. He's got 75 speed, 88 strength, 96 finesse move, 93 block shedding, and 86 pursuit. Daniels doesn't wow you with any one rating, but he is one of the most balanced defensive linemen in the game. With 75 speed, 88 strength, 90 finesse move, 90 block shedding, He's capable of playing every single down for the Packers this season, and he comes in at number four at a 92 overall. Number three, Brandon Graham from the Philadelphia Eagles, a 92 overall, also has 80 speed, 87 acceleration, 97 power move, 87 finesse move, and 91 pursuit. Graham is a new addition to the upper echelon of defensive linemen in Madden 17. In fact, his overall has risen from 86 last year to 92 in just one season. He is a pass rusher first, so look to utilize him on third and long situations to get after opposing quarterbacks. Number three, Brandon Graham, 92 overall. And number two, from the Tennessee Titans, Jarrell Casey, 93 overall. He has 91 strength, 92 block shedding, 98 power move, 88 pursuit, and 89 play recognition. Casey is a bright spot on the Titans defense. He has the skills to do just about everything in the Titans defensive scheme. With that 91 strength and 98 power move, he can dominate in stopping the run and rushing the passer. Jarrell Casey comes in at number two at a 93 overall. And your number one defensive end in Madden 17, J.J. Watt, a 99 overall, the second 99 overall player in Madden 17 behind Rob Gronkowski at tight end. J.J. Watt has 97 strength, 98 block shedding, 99 power move, 92 finesse move, and 97 pursuit. Watt is not only the best defensive lineman in Madden 17, but one of the most versatile. He will be great in run support with 97 strength, 98 block shedding, and can rush the passer with 99 power move. Not to mention that Watt has 78 catch to mix in with all the new special team plays in this year's Madden game. J.J. Watt, the second 99 overall player in Madden 17 and the number one defensive end in Madden 17. So there you have it, your top five defensive ends. What do you think? Are they in the correct order? Are the right players in there? Let me know down below in the comments section. I'm kind of wondering, where is Ezekiel Alonza in this? He's one of the up and coming, if not one of the best defensive ends in the league. Even though I am a little uh, slanted towards the Lions since I am a Lions fan, but I thought he might be in that top five. Maybe he's just outside of it. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and want to see more Madden 17 news. And as always, you can follow me over on Twitter at Madden Ballers, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.